Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about live streaming your drone footage, more specifically how to live stream using the DJI Fly app. Live streaming isn't new to drones, it hasn't always been easy to set up. Uh, there are a handful of solutions out there, but they're either expensive or just kind of clunky uh, for, for most folks. So I'm excited to share this feature with you. I'll share a quick anecdote to explain why I'm so excited. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was hired by a company out of North Carolina to take drone footage of a project here in Middle Tennessee. So the client in North Carolina had multiple uh, stakeholders wanting to see the footage. Um, and, and when I was on site, if I had been able to set up a private streaming link, uh, I probably would have completed the job in, in half, maybe two thirds of the time. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited that this feature exists now natively in the DJI Fly app. At the time of this recording, uh, here are the following drone models that use the DJI Fly app. So if you have one of these systems uh, and the latest version of, of the Fly app, you can live stream your footage. Um, actually, this feature has been live for several weeks now when DJI updated their Fly app uh, to the latest version, 1.4.12. So if it's been a while since you've flown, make sure to run through the updates when you turn uh, your, your system back on when you, when you open the Fly app uh, to ensure you're using the latest version of the app with this feature. So. Um, let's walk through how to set this up. It's pretty easy. There are a few steps involved. I'm going to hop uh, behind um, uh, behind my phone and um, walk through how to set things up. I'm going to open up the Mavic Air 2 and uh, and set up a live stream. All right, folks, we are uh, we're turned on. We are connected. I am in the DJI Fly app and uh, I'm going to go into the settings area. So in the top right, there are three dots. I'm going to tap those three dots and we're going to open up settings and um, there's a transmission section in the top row. It says live streaming platforms. So I'm going to tap live streaming platforms and I'm going to tap RTMP. What the heck is RTMP? Um, it is a streaming protocol used for live streams. So uh, services like YouTube and Vimeo, they need to be able to find, uh, there needs to be a way to, to, to map those services to what your drone is recording in real time. Um, so this is the address that, that makes that mapping happen in real time, uh, which is insane. <laughs> Super cool. Um, I'm going to come back to that address in a second. I wanted to point out the resolution and the bitrate. Um, I am at my home. I've got a strong Wi-Fi signal here. So I've tested this at 1080p and 2 megabits per second. So the resolution is the quality of the stream. And then the bitrate is the rate uh, that you are streaming. So you're just going to have to experiment with um, kind of where you're at. I I'll be honest, I don't have a great feel for what works in different situations because I just uh, have only been testing this at home over the last couple of days. So I haven't had a chance to uh, do this uh, out somewhere yet. Um, but so far, so good. So uh, let's go back. Let's find out where this RTMP address is. I'm going to be using YouTube, uh, but the setup is similar if you're using uh, Facebook, Vimeo, Twitch, uh, or any of the other streaming platforms out there. And, and the trick is how to structure your link. So I guess first, before I even go to YouTube, um, I just want to show you this first part of the link here, uh, live to forward slash, um, you're going to be given a key and you just put the key, the secret key uh, after that. Uh, my secret key is blurred out uh, in this video because uh, I, I want to be the only one who is allowed to do live streaming on my on my YouTube channel. Um, so, but, but, but I just want to show you that there's a, a, there's a sort of a first part and a second part. Uh, so let's hop behind the computer. I want to show you, uh, I want to show you YouTube. All right. I am uh, in our company's YouTube uh, account and um, you don't need to have a company account. You just need to just have a, a free YouTube account to, to be able to live stream. Um, when you're logged in, you're going to click this icon, this create icon, and there's a go live section. So I'm going to tap go live. And if you're familiar with YouTube and how to upload videos, um, you know, you can put information in the description of the video. You can tag the video, categorize it, add titles, add keywords. You can do all of that here. Um, you're basically just clicking edit. Um, I'm just going to keep this as UAV coach live stream. I'm not going to mess with any of our other settings right now. Um, but I wanted to point out this stream URL. This is what we just saw on my phone. And um, if I scroll over a bit, you'll see it's, it ends in live too. So essentially what you're doing is you're copying this. You're adding another forward slash and then you're taking this stream key and you're copying it and you're pasting it at the end of your link. Uh, so uh, the, the way you structure it's important. It's this link. It ends in live to forward slash and then your stream key. Uh, and if you put that in correctly, here's what we're going to do. 
RTMP. I'm back on my phone right now. I'm, I'm going to tap. Uh, I'm going to tap start. Three, two, one. All right. And you can see how quick it is to connect on my computer. It's just a couple of seconds um, for the initial connection. And yeah, there we go. About six, seven seconds in. All right. The video is a little behind. Definitely a little behind. It's kind of hard for me to see the screen. Yeah, it's maybe like five or six second lag. But I'm just going to stop the drone for a second so I can see what's on the screen. Yeah, I mean, it's lagging, but it's, um, yeah, it's super cool. And uh, it looks like we might have a few viewers. And uh, if there are people listening in, I'm just running a test here just to see the strength of, uh, of the live stream. I'm going to tap this, but you know that the live stream is working on the phone because there's this icon here. And when I tap that, you can see we've been live streaming for a minute and 25 seconds. Um, and my mic is live, so uh, there is audio being, being picked up. Um, I'm curious if the audio is being picked up uh, from the drone or, or from my voice. Um, but I can turn that on or off. Uh, and then I can stop the live stream at any time just by tapping uh, exit. But um, goodness gracious, it's a beautiful day here. Uh, let's see if we can see. I'm getting a manned aircraft uh, detection. Uh, I love I love the Mavic Air 2 uh, and, and upgraded uh, notifications we get about nearby manned aircraft. Um, it's downtown Nashville in the distance. Let me bring it up. And for what it's worth, I know uh, I know that that manned aircraft is helicopter traffic, particularly this time of day. I do a lot of flying around here, and that's uh, it's downtown Nashville. Yeah, I'm not going to go any higher than that. So we're at about 387 feet, and uh, it's downtown Nashville. Beautiful day, Thursday, December second, around one o'clock Central Standard Time. This is a high school. I uh, got some new construction there. They just redid that baseball field, and uh, looks like they're building some tennis courts, which I've been watching over the last uh, last year or so. They've been working on that. Um, all right, I'm, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, if anyone's still watching, I uh, hope this was a helpful uh, helpful tutorial, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna land this bird uh, and, and get myself some lunch. All right, take care.